Hey everybody, it's Mike, and so I'm coming at you today with a quick haul video. I recently picked up a few items, actually I got a couple on eBay, um, so I'll review those first, and then I made a quick trip to Nordstrom's yesterday, which is right next door to my work, and uh, grabbed a few things in there, so. Um, first one I'm going to review for you this morning is going to be the Derma Blend. Um, I've done a video on this before. I use the uh, I used to use the Chroma 3 Honey Beige. I haven't been tanning as much, so I wanted to get a lighter shade. So I ordered this one in Chroma Two and a Half, which is a medium beige. Uh, this one's a little bit different. I didn't want the compact this time. So this is the 10.7 grams, um, and you know that's the size of it. So it's not super large, but again, with Dermablend, you do not need a lot of it. Let me actually close this blind. <clears throat> Turn the light on overhead here. So I wasn't totally prepared. Um, so I'll do a quick show of you for this. I did a little test of it last night. Basically, and it comes with this little spatula. I'm going to take just that much of it. Um, I'll do just so long here. I'll just kind of spread it out a little bit. So I've got all that off of there. As you can see, got just that little bit. And as you can see, as I told you before, Dermablend is a super, super, super full coverage concealer. Um, it'll cover tattoos. Burn marks, acne marks, freckles, it's just anything. And just the littlest amount is needed. Um, depending upon what kind of scars. Actually, my glasses are bugging me. They're reflecting. I didn't get the anti glare. Elliot did in his one. I didn't get it in mine. Obviously, I need it. Um, anyway, so there is the Derma Blend. Um, it is a super, super full coverage concealer. And. You know, I absolutely, absolutely love it. You know, it comes with this little brochure. It shows this lady, like, all really badly to um, acne, age spots, or whatever, and then the Derma Blend. So, anyways. Um, but, yeah, so there's that Derma Blend. Um, it's just a little bit shade. I'm actually surprised, being half a shade lighter, how much lighter it is than the Chroma 3 Honey Beige. Um... So maybe, maybe I just didn't look at them properly. Maybe there's a Chroma 2.5 Honey Beige. I don't know. Uh, the next thing I got was one of the Chibi Concealer Palettes. Um, these are all over eBay. They're the 15 <clears throat> palettes. There you go. I think I've done one of these before. I may have sent it out. I don't know. Um, it's basically got a white. It's got a green. Greens are good for covering up redness. Um, things along those lines. It's got a pink and then just every shade of a foundation that you can imagine, every color foundation. Now, these being as cheap as they are, I have a thing for smells. And then there's the yellow as well. Yellow is really good for covering up uh, blues and other um, blemishes and things along those lines. So, these one, you know, it is, it is cheaper. This one particularly is made out of um, polymethyl methacrylate talc, beeswax, um, and petroleum, so, um, you know, it, it is what it is, it's not going to be the greatest stuff in the world, but it'll be, you know, effective for little, um, I essentially got this for highlights and contouring, so there's that. Now, on to the fun stuff, stuff from Nordstrom's, now this is actually from Nordstrom's Rack, which is kind of like their discount store here in Denver. Um, when things aren't selling in their other stores, I think, or whatever, or it's just overflow from their stores, they send them to the Nordstrom's rack. So, first thing I grabbed is NARS, the Wicked Attraction Palette. Um, this is normally retails for $49. I got it for $35. It's actually cheaper on eBay even right now. So, I was a little disappointed when I seen that. And I was actually kind of disappointed with the sizes of these items when I seen them. But um, this basically comes with a smudge-proof eyeshadow base, so you got your primer there. Um, let's see, a single eyeshadow. What is this right here? I can't even see what it is. 
Um, bronzing powder, larger than life lip gloss. So I guess that's what this is, the larger than life lip gloss. And then it comes with a single eyeshadow, which, um, and a single blush. So there's the blush, and this is in Fathom, I believe it is. Let me put that little NARS thing back down on it. So the, um, blush in Fathom, this is a sparkly one. Um, Kind of a nudish pink, and then this here is. I can get it out of its packaging. All right, so this is the Laguna and Orgasm. So these are going to be the eyeshadow duos. Um, so it's a very very vibrant, and the colors colors again just aren't coming out as true as they normally would. Um, it's got a dark brown and a really really bright light pink. Um, again, that's from NARS, and, you know, NARS has been a really, really popular product. It's one that I have not worked with before, so, you know, when I seen it over there, I thought, oh, yeah, I definitely, definitely want to get this and, and see how it works, so um, I'm not going to swatch this stuff right now as I need to figure out what I'm going to do with it, if I'm going to keep it for myself or send it out to people. All right, <clears throat> anyways, the next one I got is another NARS package. This is the Midsummer Dream. This comes like so. It's got three items in it, and these ones are all the larger full size. It's got a nail polish. The nail polish is in... Um, I don't know if it says the color on here. Oh, yeah. Adelita. So it's a... Uh, a shimmering yellowish. I'm betting it's going to go on a little bit clearer. It also has... Um, a blush duo, and then what is this? I'm assuming this is a uh, this is a rouge duo, not blush duo, and then the multiple multifunctional stick. So this is an orgasm. Um, it's just kind of a mid-tone pink, and so fairly basic. You know, kind of blush stick, and then this is the blush duo, and this one comes in. It's called Hungry Heart. Uh, these are really, really light tones. I would probably use these for highlights only. Um, so it's got a really light, light, really, really light, fair toned nude, and then a um, a, almost an ivory nude as well. So, you know, these probably. Be, Good blush if you're really fair skinned. Um, if you're mid tone skinned or tanning or whatever, then I would use this for uh, highlighting essentially. This retails normally for $47. I got it for $34.97. Again, you can find this one cheaper on eBay than, than at the Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack usually is supposed to be cheaper, but in these instances it wasn't. On the rest of this stuff, it totally was. But for the two NARS things, it absolutely wasn't. Um, <clears throat> So as we all know, I did Urban Decay Primer Potion the other day. I did the uh, the Sin. Well, they've got since they're phasing out, you know, their old packaging, they've got them over there. If we look at that, eight dollars and ninety seven cents. Now I even paid more for the one that I got. So I ended up getting four of them: two in the Sin and two in the um, the original. This is just because they're cha they've changed their packaging. So these normally retail for about twenty dollars, and I picked them up for nine dollars each. So a really good bargain there. Um, and Urban Decay Primer Potion's always been my super favorite. Um, the new packaging is more like a toothpaste tube. I'm not really sure that I... I prefer the applicator, I think. But I guess the concern with a lot of people is, is that they're not getting all of their product out of there. So, you know, it's it's whatever you whatever you like, I guess. Basically, once these are gone, these are gone. You're going to have to get the other one. I mean, everybody blends it in with their eye anyways, but I do like having the stick to use anyway. So, grabbed those. The next thing I grabbed was Urban Decay. It's was one of my favorites. Normally $38. Got it for $18.97. Um, so, this was a really, really good deal. This is the Deluxe Shadow Box. This basically comes with a uh, little itty-bitty travel size primer potion. And then it has three, six, nine eyeshadows. Let's see if I can get that out to show you. There we go. Alright, so. Ooh, yay. Two applicators. 
I may have had this one before, I don't know. So, you basically got Fishnet, which is a, a light purple. You've got Honey, which is a light gold. You've got Ransom, which is a blue tone, middle of the road purple. You've got Graffiti, that's a light green. You've got Zero, which is just a really great black. Peace, which is a super bright, shimmery um, turquoise. And then the bottom four are all um, browns, golds. Underground is definitely a, a straight up darker gold. Scratch is a pinkish gold, and Shag is a bronzish gold. So, and then you got two applicators in your little mirror, and it comes all in this little neat little package here. So, that is the Urban Decay Deluxe Shadow. And again, 1897 at Nordstrom's Rack, a really, really good deal in my opinion. Um, next, I picked up, I picked up two more things. I got um from Anastasia. I want you to want me the eyeshadow palettes. So it basically looks like this. You flip this little thing down, pull it out, and then you've got four different things inside of here. What you got are um eyeshadows. Oops. Um, you've got a dual ended brush there, a blending, and a, uh, a thicker eyeshadow brush. Alright, you've got hmm, nine shadows on this one. Ooh, beautiful. All uh, kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked palette. So, this one is Platform Wedge, which is a really light nude. Next one is Front Row Center, which is a shimmery nude. There's Ziggy, which is a, uh, a shimmery purple. There's a very, very matted members only, which I love. I love mattes. I'm kind of getting over shimmers right now. Uh, Power Ballad, which is um, a really, really light beige and shimmer. Then there's Jellies, which is a pink one, which is on the end here. Going down in the bottom, you've got Graphics, which is a really dark shimmer brown. Then you've got in the middle, Brass in Pocket. So that's... Um, Kind of a light bronze beige and then this last one is called iron on which is i really really like that it's a uh a really deep dark burgundy amethyst kind of purple color that's in a shimmer so you've got all those and then it comes with two other items this is an eyeliner in jet black so there's that and then the last thing from Anastasia Beverly Hills is a clear brow brow gel. Um, I absolutely love brow gel. So that's a clear brow gel to set your brow. Um, and it came all complete in this little palette here, which is really, really nice. And then the last thing I picked up was, you know, one of my favorites, <clears throat> Smashbox. Click your it. This was the holiday eye palette. Um, it has 20 eyeshadows and a um, photo ready eyeshadow primer. Again, it's a really, really small primer, photo, photo finish primer. Um, so anyways, there you've got 20 different eyeshadows. I don't know if it's going to give me the names of them. It's really just numbering these. They may be on this little card here. No, these are basically just how to do um, holiday chic. And then soft and sultry, how to do dusk to dawn, golden smolder, the everyday smoky eye, and the gleaming gold eye. So just kind of basic instructions on how to do those. You basically got a full range of colors in here from beiges, pinks, greens, um, mattes and shimmers. There's a lot of mattes. This bottom row is all mattes, and I'm really, really super stoked about that. And then the Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer. So, all together in this nice little red box. This normally is... It doesn't say what it normally was, but uh, I got it for $22.97. So, um, as you can tell, I've obviously opened up a couple new credit card accounts, and I'm having a little bit of fun again. Um, but it's definitely needed. You know, I was very good for for a long period of time and um you know that's the benefits of of doing that so that's it right now for this one um i'm probably going to do an eye here in a little bit um 
It's been a rough couple days, been a little busy, so I haven't had time to do anything, but I may play around today with some of these. So, um, and I have some other stuff on the way that I'm really, really excited to show you guys, um, including a MAC lipstick from the Strength Collection that I got for myself, because I, you know, a lot of the stuff I'll either use in giveaway, sell on eBay, or whatever, um, but this Strength Collection from MAC, they had a black lipstick that has a gold shimmer to it, and so I was super, super excited about that, because I will wear that, so I got that for myself, um, and I got it for $17 on eBay, so it's like I just paid a buck fifty for the shipping, because it would be 15 in the store, or sixteen fifty, depending, it'd be, probably be sixteen fifty. so it's like I paid 50 cents for the shipping, or just the tax, so really good deal there. All right, that's it for today. I've got um, a lot of pigments coming, um, a lot of other stuff coming from eBay purchases. You know, I've been doing my selling on eBay and purchasing again, too, so that's it, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.